I'm very happy to uh, announce that after 22 years in TCS, I am stepping down and handing over charge to Kriti. It has been a fantastic journey for me. 22 years with TCS, 27 years with the group, and uh, it's a period which I've seen uh, and learned almost everything that I know. Uh, as you know, uh, we've gone through multiple phases on the early on the change into the new era of 2001 e-business. Uh, many roles. Uh, enjoyed a lot under the mentorship of Chandra and saw him drive this company to become one of the leading, if not the leading, uh, IT providers globally. And uh, in the last six years, it has also been an absolute thrill to lead this fantastic team. I always said that uh, it happened uh, momentously for me in 2017, uh, very unprepared. But the way the team stood together, uh, the whole task was made much simpler than I could have ever imagined. And it has been a thrill in the last six years also. Uh, we have done well together. Uh, we've managed to grow to a run rate of now $28 billion. And the market has also been rewarding us. And uh, most importantly, from our employee side, we have continued to attract the best talent. And people love working for us as it shows through in our retention and our ability to continuously transform. I want to also thank uh, our customers who have continued to trust us and have continued to repose their trust in this relationship, which goes beyond individuals and it has been with the institution throughout. And that trust has been the cornerstone of our success. And I'm grateful for uh, everything that I enjoyed from the start. And I'm sure that it will also continue as uh, Kriti now takes over. So overall, uh, a day of mixed feelings for me. I'm happy where we are. I'm also a bit uh, sad now that uh, the reality of and uh, momentousness of this step is uh, slowly uh, sinking in. But uh, like in all these things, I think uh, once uh, you make up your mind or the thought starts coming into you, it is best to do it early rather than to sit and think about it for too long. So I, uh, once again, thank all of you, your love, your attention, your questions. Uh, it has also been a big motivator uh, for us for uh, egging that performance on. And uh, I'm sure uh, that will continue to be the case with uh, TCS as Kriti takes it on. So let me pause here and hand it over to Kriti and then we'll be happy to take questions. Sure. Thanks, Rajesh. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's uh, absolutely a great honor uh, to be chosen to lead this organization. And it's, of course, uh, in my view, big responsibility as well. Uh, TCS has been built on two important uh, foundational pillars of uh, uh, customer centricity, as well as a huge set of employees who are always committed and who are given their best to TCS. So it gives us a great platform of growth. And over my 35 years in TCS, I enjoyed every moment working with this team, and particularly the leadership team who has continued to foster the culture of one TCS and working only for the betterment of TCS, betterment of our clients. And uh, with all the best wishes from everyone, I'm hoping to lead this company and double down on our core pillars of uh, customer centricity, meeting more employees and meeting more customers and making the relationship stronger. Looking forward to working with all of you in future. Thank you so much, Kriti, and thank you so much, uh, Rajesh. Uh, we're going to uh, throw the floor open for questions, as Rajesh said. So um, I strongly request everybody for interest of time and so that we can accommodate as many questions. We would request you to stick to one question, please. And of course, we'll be meeting very soon again for the quarter results press conference. So you will have them to answer all your questions. Let's start with ET now, um, Nikunj Talmia. Nikunj, you can uh, unmute yourself and switch on your uh, camera. Rajesh Kirit, good morning. Uh, thank you for joining us. Rajesh, first my sincere compliments I mean, TCS shareholders, I'm sure they're mighty excited under your tenure. The company has enjoyed uh, uh, great growth, great P multiples, and really became a formidable force to reckon with in the Indian IT space. But Rajesh, even though TCS has enjoyed a very stable quarter, it has a very stable leadership, the timing of your exit 
Rajesh is something which perhaps is making everybody slightly nervous. At a time when the IT sector is getting bulldozed and concerns are there in the US BFSI space, do you think this timing could have just waited? If you look at it over the last uh, 10 years, uh, I mean, this is probably the most stable time that we have seen in uh, many years. Uh, think about the financial crisis, think about the pandemic, think about everything else that went on, the war that was uh, started off last year. So uh, this level of volatility, I would say, is par for the course. And uh, yes, there will be some ups and downs. So that definitely is absolutely not a, a question. In fact, uh, in times of crisis, we have always uh, come together and uh, absolutely stood together as a team. And then uh, when I was reflecting in terms of what would be a, a good time, I felt that uh, there's no better time than this. And also it was important to do this before the start of the new financial year so that uh, the incoming uh, CEO, in this case, Krithi, has that full runway to play with it. So from an uh, immediacy perspective, uh, just before the start of the year so that the whole year can be owned. And from a slightly longer term perspective, we have brought the volatility of the uh, pandemic to a fair state. Uh, we have registered um, very strong growth, first bouncing off the pandemic lows with 15%. And then over the last uh, nine months also, we have still grown at 14.8% uh, and uh, crossed big milestones. We crossed uh, 7 billion and we are now at a run rate of 28 billion. So when you look forward, uh, I don't think there is going to be another period where you know there will be significantly difference in that uh, stability for it to be. So it goes back to that question that uh, you know you asked it why now, and I'm asked myself if not now, will there be a better time? And the frank answer was I couldn't think that there could be anything better, and therefore it made most logical sense. So Rajesh, the immediate follow-up question is, when did you inform Chandra? What was his first reaction? And uh, how did it go through? And what is next for Rajesh Gopinathan now? Everybody's curious about that. So I'm lending two questions into one. Yeah, in terms of, uh, I've been having uh, discussions with Chandra off and on. And uh, of course, you know, when there is an immediate problem, we always focus on that. But uh, in moments of retrospection, I've always been telling him, that uh, you know, at some point I want to do it. And uh, so that's been an ongoing uh, dialogue. Uh, the immediate one was, of course, that uh, as I said, it, and I think it, this is the way it happens with everybody probably, that one day you get up and then you say that, okay, we have thought about it and uh, spoken about it long enough. Uh, it is better to you know, uh, pull the trigger as it were. So that happened just a week or so ago but it's a conversation that has been ongoing. What next is first, uh, I have to make sure that the transition happens smoothly. And uh, with Kriti being there, I don't think that is a challenge at all. But I owe it to all our customers, all our colleagues, our employees, and all stakeholders to make sure that uh, I am there for whatever time that Kriti needs. And uh, if nothing, it might be even symbolic. But I definitely have no uh, plans to skimp on that and will be available to Kriti 100%, not just during this transition period, at any uh, point in time in future. After that, I want to take some downtime and uh, spend some time with family, sit back and then think, uh, you know, yeah, many ideas are there. But now that the trigger has been pulled, I need to start crystallizing what those are. And it would not have been appropriate for me to go down that path while I was uh, doing something as important as this and uh, which required more than 100% of my attention all the time. So that's the, that's the plan. Uh, so probably we will get to catch up and have that cup of coffee that we have been always talking about. And I am looking forward to some downtime.